song and a beer episode where I'm going to taste a beer or drink a beer for you and talk about it a little bit and then play an original song of mine. Now, uh, I'm trying to come up with a, a little tagline like, you know, the saying, life, life is too short to drink cheap beer, or maybe life is too precious to drink cheap beer, or life is too precious, drink craft beers. Better if you get beers that are fresh and or uh, definitely without uh, preservatives so and good ingredients. Anyways, today I'm doing Terrapin Station's um, Hopsecutioner IPA. It's, um, here I'll give you some stats on it. It's supposedly brewed with quite a few hops, but um, I noticed it's fairly mild considering it's called Hopsecutioner. But it's um, 78 IBUs and 7.3% alcohol which is a pretty good strong beer, a good, I think it's a high, uh, a good area of percentage of alcohol for an IPA. Anyways, uh, how I stumbled on it uh, last year, it was actually the winter before I did a tour through the South and um, I got booked at this Terrapin station. I didn't know anything about it. It's in Athens, Georgia and uh, it was a really nice place and they had an outdoor stage, um, really big, uh, I guess you would call it patio, but it was just mostly grass and games and stuff. And I was recommended this IPA and I loved it. Of course, to me, everything's better on draft if it's fresh. And at, of course, at the brewery, they're going to have great lines, clean it all the time and they have the beer brewed right there. So it was a great time. I had a couple big tall drafts before I played and drinking a couple while I'm playing. It was a great experience for me. Um, I don't know about for the audience because, you know, you know, a little technique goes out the window that way. Then, um, this is kind of a funny story. I had this tour booked and I told the agent, hey, I found a really cool place for me to play. It's right by Athens, Georgia. So I thought, I, saw, I can't remember the name of the city, but I looked on the map and it was like not even an hour away. And then after the tour's booked and I'm ready to go on it, I realized, oh, the same name exists in another state. And I was actually, had a backtrack five, six hours, play this gig, really cool place. And uh, then I had to leave there and drive 10 hours. You know, it's like two in the morning. And I had to drive 10 hours to play a morning gig in Jacksonville, Florida. So I drove about five, I just figured better drive now. So I drove five hours after I got out of that club and uh, slept in a, for an hour or two at a rest stop and drove the rest away and played a really nice outdoor thing. Uh, they, they have an outdoor market in Jacksonville, Florida. Anyways, it worked out, but it was like, you know, 21 or again or something, hitting the road. But, um, all right, so I think, well, it's time to taste it and tell you what it's like. Terrapin Station Hopsecutioner IPA, 7.3%. All right, here's my Forest City Brewery from Cleveland, their glass. I didn't bring out the, the bad to the bone coffee mug that I normally use. Ooh, nice head. Okay, now I remember, they, I think they claim it's like a West Coast inspired, but I don't see it in my notes here that I printed some of this off from their own website. Wow. Yeah, you could taste a little of the bitterness of the hops hitting you. I would say it's very piney. They claim to be citrusy also. Very, not too citrusy for me. And, um, man, it's, it's a great beer. To me, it's slightly maltier than you would get, like, a Headhunter IPA that's, to me, a real West Coast style or, or Palette Wrecker, which is very, wow. Well, you have to try Palette Wrecker if you can take hops. And it's seasonal. It's from Green Flash Brewery. But this, you could drink a lot of these. These are very go down very easy. 
Yeah, wow, that's really, man, tastes great in a can. Also, you know, some some beers don't uh, necessarily bottle good or can as well. Wow, it's, it's, it's almost like it's out of a tap. They must have uh, brought it up in 24 hours. From Athens, Georgia to Cleveland. That's what I, I'm, I meant to say. I normally am going to do Cleveland beers, or I keep saying that, in Ohio beers, because we have so many good breweries and so many beers. Might as well talk about those. But I saw this in the store the other day, because when I was down in Athens, they said they didn't distribute up here. And a year later, they're here. And uh, so they're doing a good job of distribution. Anyways, my original song here is called Trainwreck. It's the last song I recorded and popped up online, so you can find it. But it's just the unplugged version, just like I'm going to do, something like I'm going to do. All right, here we go. Say rock and roll ain't here to stay But I still got this ball and chain Well freedom is not so great When you got nothing to celebrate So one day I'll just walk away Never gonna look back And some days I'm a train wreck Some days I ride the rails And some days I fly off the track You don't like this new generation You're so sure yours was better than that But the good old days I hate to say Were never all that great my friend, I'll try my luck with this new hand. We had segregation of woman shame with long hours with a bad wage. train wreck. Harmonica's not acting right today. Anyways, Terrapin Station Hopsecutioner IPA. I put it really high on the Jeff Powers buzz factor. Very high. I like it almost up there with Headhunter. It's multi. I'm, I'm partial to the West Coast style. Um, this has a little bit of that uh, European style in my mind uh though who am i i just drink beer cheers well